In this example, we're going to practice finding the union of sets. For part A, we're given two sets, A and B, and we want to find their union. So we'll write that A and then the U for union, B. And this is going to be, as always, any element that appears in either set. So we take all the elements of A, that's the easy way to start, and then add in any elements from B that we don't already have. So we'll add in the 1. We don't need to add the 4 because we already have it. So the union is those five elements. Similarly for part B, A union B, we write a set, start with the elements from A, and then add any from B that you need to. Well, we don't have X, Y, or Z, so we'll add all three of those. For part C, A union B, we'll start with all the natural numbers and then add in the empty set. Well, the empty set is no elements, so if we add nothing to the natural numbers, we have still the natural numbers. And this is true for any set. A union, the empty set, no matter what A is, is always going to be the set you start with because when you take the union with the empty set, you're adding nothing to it, so you get back the set you started with. So the easiest way to find the union of two sets is just to start with one of them and then add in whatever elements from the second one you don't already have listed.